How's it all going, guys? How you doing? Just having a quick beer. Come to this in a minute. Right, so homebrew stuff related. Basically, I finally bottled my zombie dust uh, that I brewed back in, I think it was 19... 23 <laughs> oh god yeah um that's been in secondary for a couple of months or a month or a bit i've just been so lazy i just couldn't be asked to bottle it but i finally did it yesterday and whoa i got eight bottles out of it it was only a five liter batch as well oh god so yeah that's done and what else have I done? Oh, dry hot my zombie dust. That's uh, 11 litres. Uh, I'll dry hop that in primary. So I've waited a week while it did its initial fermentation stuff. And now I just chucked in loose hot pellets. Citra. I think it was about 50 grams. I'm going to wait a couple more days. And then I'm going to chuck in about... 30 grams of Amarillo and then I'll rack to secondary and then hopefully I'll bottle it soon not leave it well because while I was bottling this beer yesterday um, it didn't smell like a zombie dust but I did use um, I think it's Anthem hops or whatever yeah I use them instead of Citra so who knows That'd be interesting, two weeks time. Give them a go. Right. Uh, basically, a little rant coming on now. Um, it's to do with UK Craft Beer Network, which is on Facebook. I'm uh, getting a little bit pissed off of it. Basically, there's too many snobs on there, I, I think. I mean, it's not homebrew related, but I mean, we all drink beer, so it's, you know, craft beer. So, the other day, I sort of like, okay, I'll show you what I got. Right, okay. It's dogfish head, DNA. And you're all probably saying, yeah, it's fucking shit. Well, I didn't know anything about this. So, when I tried it, I liked it. You know, I didn't read up on reviews and basically everybody's slating it, saying it's shit. Um, so I didn't know any of this. So I basically put on UK Beer Network. This is one of the best beers I've had in the can, which it is because I don't drink ale in a can, apart from the old speckled hen um, or Foster's or... Red Stripe, that's what I drink out of a can. But I saw this, I saw the dogfish head, and I thought, oh, and I liked it. I mean, it's quite nice. I can't grumble, it's not fucking horrible. I'm not, I'm not gonna tip it down the drain. But, so I put this up, and there's so many people that basically said I was a troll. Yes, you must be trolling. Because that's, it's, it, that's shit beer. It's like, it's craft, is it not craft beer? Is it, it's, it's beer. Fucking hell. I liked it. So I put a photo up. And then you've got all these snobs who's obviously drunk better beer. Which, fair to, he's drink better beer. I've drunk better beer than this. But, I'm not whinging about it. And what gets me is they all say, oh, this is fucking shit. But for them to know that it's shit, they must have bought it once before. So they've actually bought, in their eyes, a shit beer, right? And they're having a go at me for buying it. But I'm the winner because I liked it. If they didn't like it, then they bought something that they didn't like. So they lost out. I, I bought this. I liked it. So, I didn't waste my money like 
all those beer experts out there. It just gets my goat sometimes. It's annoying. Um, I mean, if you made this beer, you wouldn't like people slagging it off, would you? You know, think about all these people that are starting out in in craft beer, and you know they all all stems from home brewing. You know, so you spent ten years home brewing, and you think, well, I'm going to make my own beer. I'm going to go commercial, whatever. You. And if people start slating it, you you wouldn't be happy, would you? So let's ease up on slating beers. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Get over it. Um, there's there's a lot of beers out there that I don't like, you know. But I don't go on Facebook and say this is fucking horrendous. Don't buy it. I say if I review a beer and. If I don't like it, I would say, right, I don't like it, but somebody out there might like it, so give it a go. Why not? Mm. You know, it's not the best beer in the world, but it's, it's okay. And I only bought it because it was in a can. I've not had craft beer in a can before. There you go. But anyway, uh, coming up on the brewing front, basically what I'm going to plan on doing is another um, zombie dust. Again, yawn, I know, but yeah, I like it, so I'm going to brew it again. But I'm going to do, obviously, on no chill. And I'm going to leave it in the no chill cube for two to three weeks just to see what happens yeah um yeah it's just a little experiment you know oh it's one thing oh i'll get two seconds i won't be long I read today on Facebook that apparently Guinness has bought up all a lot, well, the majority of Galaxy Hops for their craft ale beer, whatever they're making. Um, yeah, so so there's going to be a huge sort shortage of Galaxy Hops. Now I've got a hundred grams of Galaxy Hops. I probably got this for about £4.50, but if there's a major shortage and nobody can get any, because Guinness have bought them all, this is for sale for a grand. Right? Any takers for a grand. I've got some Galaxy Hops. I'll keep these. You never know, eh? Nah. <laughs> oh, that's funny as fuck. I can't buy them all. Well, I haven't, because I've got some. Anyway. Right. I'm going to stop rambling. Drink this beer. Because it's Friday tomorrow. And I'm going to get on it, I think. So. Have a good one, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.